This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Chem Power, and a better route planner. Yo, what's up? This is Mercedes EQA, and in this video, I'm going to put banana boxes in it. You go on the drill. Let's start with Frank. Frank. Okay, let's see. Uh, the tap. Okay, I always double tap, triple tap to make sure that it's unlatched. And then, where is it? Where is it? This is the first time I do it. There, there. Oh, it has struts. Noise. Um, not much to see here. Yeah, maybe they could have fit in the front here, but uh, yeah, this is taking up lots of space. The radiator, uh, what it does, a junction box maybe. Well, there's a part number there. Yeah, what is there? Uh, seems like uh, part of the heat pump. There is the engine. Yeah, battery is over there. Yeah, so it's always this is always uh, the case because we have fossil car, so they just whatever they just fill the the trunk with the uh, uh, car stuff. And here's a trunk. It has motorized lift gate, but I don't think it has a kick sensor. <laughs> what does it? Uh, okay, okay. I, at least I tried. Yeah, I think I didn't try it hard enough with the other cars, but okay, okay. But you see here, the backup camera is hidden behind the foreskin, so it doesn't get schmutzig. Yeah, very good. So let's see. As usual, we take out the stuff. Uh. All right. Hmm. Can maybe take out this one also. There we go. Partial shelf. Oh, fancy, we have a little uh, Mercedes-Benz high visibility jacket here. Here we have a nice strap on, some loading hooks there, on this side, a light there, first aid kit. Uh, what is this? Oh, okay. And here, look, 12 volt outlet. Mm, nice. Wait, where is the button for the anhanger kopplung? Huh. Wait, there's a little hook there. Huh? What? This is weird. Yeah, where's the button? Huh? Because we have it under here, you see? If you look under here, you see there is something going on there. Uh, maybe there's a button in the, in the front. Okay, I couldn't find it, but it's not critical for this test anyway. So I'm going to show you that this lid here cannot be removed. It's fixed there. Well, unless you unscrew it, but let's just leave it there. So that means that the space under here cannot really be utilized. Uh, this foam thing here is also stuck there, so just leave it here. And here I found the, what the heck is this thing? <laughs> yeah, so it's right there. You see, it's like a, it's like a weapon. Wait, does it, does it have a brand? Uh, no, so it's not an Audi uh, tow hook this time. Okay, all right, all right. All right, let's just uh, close it like this and then start filling it up. Okay, round one. This is all I could do because of the slightly sloping wall and it's kind of shallow trunk, whatever. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's pretty average. Six, uh, six banana boxes in the trunk. Okay, let's fold the seat and try again. Wow. Um, I actually started filling the car and then I didn't have enough boxes. I had to bring more boxes from the from the garage so this is bigger than I thought <laughs> that's what my wife keeps telling me also <laughs> but okay so let me show you that uh, uh, I fill it again as usual to the max yeah okay uh, this one I don't want to open uh, it's just filled to the max also and on this side yeah oh yeah yeah boy okay let's uh, prepare then so as usual, let's uh, turn up the pitch and start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nine. 
19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Wow, 23 boxes. <laughs> huh? Could you believe that? This is based on the GLA. Pretty small and compact car, but I guess it's because of the fairly high headroom, then you still have pretty good room for banana boxes. So I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.